do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students in this video we will see how to go about solving the next example for forces in space in this example you can see the force vector is already given to us what we need to do is we need to find out the magnitude and the directions so the first thing that we need to do is finding out the magnitude now as we have done in two dimensional fo uh, force system if the components are given to us and we need to find out the resultant or the actual force then we need to take the resultant of that and that is nothing but magnitude is under root of all the components squared so the magnitude that we have got in this case is 475 newtons now using this magnitude we need to find out the angle or the direction that it is making with the respective axis now we know force along x is or the component along x is 345 newtons so if i need to find out the angle with respect to x i know the component and i know the magnitude so that is now to find out the angle along the y axis we know the magnitude or the component along y that is 150 and the magnitude as well that is 475 so in this case the angle is coming out as 71.6 degrees similarly i can find out the angle along z now in this case i have to take care the magnitude that is given to me is negative so i have to take that into consideration so in this case the angle along z is coming out as 127 degrees which will satisfy the condition for me to get the component along z axis as negative because the angle is coming out as greater than 90 degrees and the cos component will become a negative value so this is how we can calculate the force magnitude and the direction of the forces from the force vector that is given to us hope i this example is clear to you thank you